Well, hey, everybody, and welcome back. It is time for more Dragon's Dogma 2 uh, here on the Dojo on Rage Select. I'm Jeff. I'm Jason. Uh, we skip forward a few minutes to Melv, uh, this place that uh, we were kind of on our way to. I forgot why. I played this game like a hundred times, but I forgot I forgot what was going <laughs> so, on. Yeah. And I wasn't paying attention the first time. Hey, so. it's the Rage Select way. Um, the streets with so there's wait. our gang garfieldius yep. incorporated yep yep we got uh Bertuxin, and then we've got some some just fucking randos some crazy motherfuckers uh oh 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 so this place got fucked up by the dragon do you remember in the beginning of uh dragon's dogma we were like just hanging around like a fishing village and then the dragon showed up and it, i do because we're already the arisen but we didn't actually see ourselves become the arisen uh, yeah, you and me both, oh, brother. Right. So I think this so the is... dragon hates us. It's so complicated. I can explain why. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can explain, but it would ruin the first game, which would probably be a spoiler for the, what's going to happen later in this game. So I'm oh. not I'm not gonna. I'm just uh, glad you didn't say. Well, there's a visual novel. <laughs> Man, you got it. Oh, so wait, we, we lost our memory because we said that before to somebody that like, we don't know what happened. We just, we were on the throne and then we were in the mines and wait. And now that, now the Taco Bell, <laughs> now that, uh, what is that? The Crispinata is kicking in. <laughs> no, that's, that's the, uh, oh, the, shit. The, that's the cheese. <laughs> oh, the KFC cheats. <laughs> yeah. The cheats. I had that. I, I ate that Jason. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> it was Don't horrible. say it out loud. It was oh, horrible. Jeff. It was garbage. It was so bad. Was it? it looks terrible. Oh, look, there's the dragon. There he is. Oh, so is this like a this is like a flashback? This is the representation of what's going on in your lower intestines <laughs> when after <laughs> eating the pizza. Oh, no. Here comes yeah. the sauce. Ah! <laughs> I, I'm fighting back with Pepto, but it's not very effective. Ah! Uh, take that, Chitza. Uh, take yep. that. What are you yep. doing? Uh, <laughs> God, God, that son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. This is what they need to do. This is, what, this is why they need to hire you and me to do commercials. Oh, shit. Yeah, why, why hasn't that happened yet? <laughs> Come on. Oh, shit. Wait, I recognize that lady. She's the one that shot down that griffin that we were riding, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm, we should maybe just tell the dragon to hold on a second because we got to settle something with this lady uh, <laughs> for, for taking out our griffin. Oh, no. Uh, I don't think that's how that works, my dude. <laughs> a lot of fire went through, went over and around that shield. <laughs> Did Garf just get cooked? Uh, Garf. It's a bit, oh. of a bit of a crispy critter. Oh, my God. It's got to smell terrible, the singed hair, you know. <laughs> hey, what's up? You know Gary? You get you just hang out with Gary? Uh oh. No! Oh! No! <laughs> oh! Well, I mean, it, it did it did solve the heartburn problem I was having. So, <laughs> when you ripped out my heart. Oh Lord! The precision. That's that's not that can't be very satisfying. You're gonna need some gravy or potatoes or something. It'd be like me eating one Skittle for dinner. And legend says that Garfieldius also grew an extra heart just in case. I, I want, I want the, uh, I want the idea to be that this dragon pulls out Garfieldius's heart and eats it, and then halfway through this cutscene, he just falls down and starts like, ha, huh, 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 what is in this? How many orphans have you killed? <laughs> Yeah. Are you a werewolf? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> oh my god! Starts having Skyrim flashbacks and yep. just realizes how dangerous Garfieldius yeah. is. Did you eat a vampire and then throw it up and then eat the throw up? What is wrong with you? <laughs> oh god! That's a Wednesday for Garfieldius. Yep. Oh okay. Meanwhile, at Stately Wayne Manor? Oh, okay. Mm. 
I was really that, pissed. Uh, Garfieldius's preferred rub and tug. <laughs> hey, you shot my Griffin. Yeah. Yeah, Allison Bree, you <laughs> shot our Griffin. <laughs> There was a thing in the other... You remember in the first game, there was this weird, like... This is the second time I've... Watched. There was this lady in your village that was kind of, like... She, I don't know. She's, like, your cousin or something. And I don't know. It was weird. The second time... You do not remember? Then have you forgotten... Okay, so that was a flashback to when the dragon... I don't remember that. I don't remember that at all. The, the dragon took our heart. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, that was a flashback to before, and now we're... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so she was there before. We were fighting. Right. The dragon took yeah. our heart. Mm-hmm. I'm with you. Because we've got amnesia. We've got we've got the plot amnesia, so... Uh, I seem to have become arisen, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Garfieldius has got a little bit of the old... Uh, a little bit of the old vaudeville in him. Jason, what is this <laughs> expression that they've decided to t like have her stop on? Just as, uh, uh, what to do with one? <laughs> okay. They said it was so that your wounds could be treated. Though I fear you have they took us to the castle. Yeah. Did they make us the king? Did they take, wait, was that us in the beginning when we were having the king flashbacks? I mean, it seemed like maybe it was us. And that is, again, as I said, something Garfieldius would do <laughs> is become declared king and get way too drunk to pass out. Yeah, become the as king and then out. get immediately assassinated whenever he was at like his, his royal ball and he just starts like housing whole chickens and they're just like, oh shit, where's the poison? Get the poison, get the poison. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they're just like, sir, would you like some poison with your chicken? And he's like, uh-huh, yep, 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 just throw it on there. Get any sriracha, sriracha poison. That's what I like. Just being a complete. Uh, oh yeah, it's, it's just a grotesque asshole. Yep. <laughs> Jeez, he's just yeah, he's got sriracha dripping from his whiskers. He <laughs> <laughs> looks like a lion yep. after feasting inside a gazelle. Just pulls his maw out and it's just all sticky. <laughs> like, like he's been he's been putting Denethor to shame. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you thought you were getting sick before. Wait till you see Garfield. eat a cherry tomato. It is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> It'll make you question your faith. <laughs> I would not depart without okay, so... It's like a Cronenberg movie whenever Garfield is, has a bag of Cheetos. It's asking, okay. Now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. Okay, Gregor, you want me to go to the... Who might have the answers we need? Shall we ask Do you have any foods that you won't eat because it's too messy? Uh, like, I'm a little, I'm a little, um, I would never take a date to a Wings restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, that's, uh, that's not really my, my deal. Uh, that's probably the messiest food, but I'll still eat, I'll still eat chicken wing. Well, I don't know, man. Jason, you know, chicken wings are supposed to be fucking cheap. They're trash. They're chicken trash. And they're yes. just like, now they're very expensive. And I'm like, but why? They're trash. Like, if a chicken, if chicken wings cost as much as a chicken yeah. breast, I'm just going to get a chicken breast with wing sauce on it. Like, come on. Better yet, just get some chicken tenders. Yeah. Tell me. Just get some tenders. Throw you don't even have to deal with the bone. Yeah. And there's more meat. Yeah. Perhaps you already know this. Why are you even fucking with the wings? I don't understand. Yep. I've never understood the allure. It's I like, mean, I understood it when it was like 10 cent wing night, right? And I could get like 100 wings for $10 or whatever back oh, in right. fucking 2011 or whatever. But like, yeah. now it's just like, oh, do you want five chicken wings? That'll be $30, please. And I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> fucking fuck yourself is what you can do with your chicken wings. Yeah, no, we no, no, no. We were ordering uh, burgers the other day, and we had a Five Guys moment. It wasn't at Five Guys. It was a local place. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, we weren't even ordering it to be favored. We were going to pick it up. And uh, Allison finished uh, with her order, and it was like $22 for, like, burger, fries, and a drink. Yep. <laughs> it was just like, no, 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 that's just you. I haven't added mine yet. That's, no. uh, yep. So we opted out. Like, uh, okay, maybe not. Yeah. Not a fan. Uh, you got oh fire boon. Give me fire boon. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's get out of here. 
We're, there's some shit to do in this town if you want, but this place is a one horse fucking open sleigh and shit. Like, uh, <laughs> their Christmas shit. You gotta get your Christmas shit together. Everybody knows Garfieldius is the king of Christmas. That's right. He shows up every year at Christmas. <laughs> like Santa Claus. Exactly. Yeah. This town is just a, some one horse open sleigh shit. Yep. Jeff, mm. I'm so proud of you for. <laughs> For for that fucking nonsense. <laughs> what can I say? Best, just throw it up that insult. I've, I've like, spent ten years training. <laughs> I've been Jeff and I Rocky yeah. montages. Oh, how we go into Jeff and I go into Chili's. It's like, what is this one horse open sleigh shit? They're like, there's the guy that insults you with Christmas puns all the time. <laughs> let's go. Let's go to the Capitol. I want to see the frame rate dip. Come on. Oh, we're just running. Oh yeah, we you pretty much just run everywhere. I swear to God, this is like a a, a world with no horses. I want a yeah. pawn that's just going to carry me on their shoulders. I want Pertuxen to carry me. That was Pertuxen. Come on, I want to do that's my Jesus <laughs> joke here. This is this is your turn, and then my turn comes later after we're done. Set hitting my ass. Okay, don't. I told you no more massages. Oh shit! Come on, just uh, be Yoda for a second. God Bertuxin. damn it! Ugh. All right, where's my? You should have. You should have thrown Bertuxin at. I tried, but uh, it wasn't. It wasn't. The game wasn't having it right that second. So, oh shit! Oh, okay. All right. All right. Yeah. They sound like salacious crumb. <laughs> <laughs> Is your sword always on fire? No, that's what I I just got Bertuxen. Oh, gave Fire Moon. Yeah, a spell that where he could yeah. set my shit on fire. So that's cool. That's part of our Garfieldius build. Uh, just one one step at a time. So yeah, where's that big berserk sword? It's the big. I swear Final to God, fantasy like key keyblade, <laughs> gigantic. <laughs> Don't like you you're using a the oh. side of a. It's like you're using a door of a Ferrari as a sword. Don't you mention keyblades around me, Jason. <laughs> you know. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I'm anti Kingdom Hearts. Okay. Uh, ooh, wait. Oh. Hey, hold on, guys. I gotta, I gotta check this out real fast. Okay. I got a fruit ro Roborant. The fuck is a Roborant? Is that like Robocop? That's uh, that's my RoboCop blog that I have. <laughs> Robo Rant. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's just where I talk about all of the issues of the comic, the Frank Miller comic. We talk about uh, all the movies and what went wrong. RoboCop the TV series. Did RoboCop you play the, the remake? Did you play the game? Did you play the RoboCop? No, game? it was good. I hear it's great. Yeah, it I was hear, good. I hear it was really good. I I have not. Oh fuck! I hate harpies. I just finished um, Assassin's Creed Mirage. Uh, is that the, that's the one? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. I was not impressed. <laughs> uh, I mean, the gameplay was fun. I finished it. And at the end, I was like, okay, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. But, uh, I, I have, there was, I had, I looked it up on the Wikipedia and I'm like, oh, that, 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 that doesn't help. Oh. It was, uh. It was complicated, and I, I, I understand it's very closely tied to some of the developments in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which I did not finish. Yeah, those Assassin's Creed games have been getting way too long for me. Um, let's see. I didn't I, feel like this one was that long. It was great, except I just I was like, okay, yeah, this is cool, but uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Well, when was the last time the 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 out of the framing device story for Assassin's Creed made sense? Like, oh, I know three. Uh, like, yeah, <laughs> who can even yeah. keep track at this point? So, uh, okay, let's see. What do we got here? Hold here a moment. I shall fit them open the gate. It's a big ass gate. Okay. Uh, Behold, I am Arthur, <laughs> king of the Britons. And arisen, by all appearances. And yep. Arisen. That's me! That's right. You mean. No, they call me the Soft Great Pretender. Uh, put some respect on that. Stumps at charlatans. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? I think I, I think I kind of know what's happening here, Jason, but I don't want to. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is. Thank you. Do they know that you are Garfieldius, master of explosions and romance? I think that there's another 
quotey fingers arisen like i think i saw that in like a trailer uh, so like there can only False be arisen. there can only be one arisen and so you show That's up right. and you control on the pawns and they're just like wait a minute that you, you know this guy can't be the arisen so i wonder does somebody else is there like a fake arisen it seems like it'd be really easy to know that an arisen wasn't an arisen um, and the word arisen now means nothing to me because I've said it too many times in a row. Um, <laughs> but, like, did, 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 does the fake arisen have, like, fake pawns that they pay? They just set their hand on fire and they do their little, their little put their hand up thing. Oh, yeah, because they had the glowy thing. Yeah. Right? Well, I mean, clearly we need to find this person and murder them. Yes. Especially if we get to be king. And take their power. Yeah. That could be only one. Uh, let's see. Ooh, is that treasure? Yes, please. Thank you. Now, if this other Arisen would like to become a pawn, <laughs> they may live. I don't know what the ecosystem... I don't think that pawns are like... I don't think you become a... I don't think you can make like a person into a pawn. I think they're just like... Oh, you can't just like sign up or whatever. I, it's a weird world. Like, I, 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 a lot of times I like fantasy worlds, but sometimes, you know, you read a fantasy thing and you're like, how the fuck does that even work? Like, what do the pawns do when there's not an Arisen around to tell them what to do? Like, right. You know. Yeah. Just hanging out. Do they poop? The, do they? <laughs> I mean, that's a great question. <laughs> What's their digestive cycle like? Do they have to? Do, do they, they eat? Uh, do they have hobbies? Do they have goals? Ooh. Oh shit. I am encumbered. I'm not a fan of that. Let's see here. Uh, weight. Is it that camping? Okay, Bertuxen. You carry this. I'm carrying everything else. Uh, all right. So we're looking for. Well, there's like an ox cart out here somewhere. We're supposed okay. to meet an ox cart, but it didn't show up. So oh, okay. So we gotta go. Like, uh oh, something happened to the ox cart. Yeah. So you're pr pretty standard. Jacked. Pretty standard uh, RPG nonsense. Yep. Yep. Little oh. thing that turns into something bigger than it's supposed to. Oh. Uh. Unexpected twists and turns. Okay. What? Okay. What? what? Everybody get ready. Here comes nature's attacking. Oh no! Nature's attacking. <laughs> ah! Oh, nature is passing by. Oh, okay. It's like, where was that? Where was that uh, go-getting attitude when you were just going after that uh, pig all <sighs> willy-nilly last time? Oh my! Actually, had it. <laughs> Damn it! I don't want any. We don't want any. Please. This is another just like, hey, I, here, just, do you want here, me at your party? Try this. Try this perfume. Just try this. Yeah. No, yep. it smells great on you. It smells. Oh, God, you smell so wonderful. Here, here. Look at this. Yeah, everybody, card here. everybody knows that Garfield is an axe body spray man, okay? Or catch, but <laughs> axe body spray yeah. cat. Oh, ow, what the course. fuck? What was that? Whoa, whoa. Goblins again. Fucking goblins. I like these, like, meaty sunburn goblins they've got going on here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, what? Oh, is there oh wait. Oh, sort of rock? can I? Are there rock problems? Here, can oh, I? Do it. Do oh, it. Oh, oh. oh. You, you rock blocked me. You fuck. Mm. Here, I'll throw you then. You don't want to do the do rock? It. Yes. Where's your buddy? Your buddy's got the rock? Ah, uh, rock, paper, <laughs> goblin. <laughs> <laughs> that is wonderful. All right. More games need a dedicated throw shit button. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. I want a game where it's all about just like throwing shit at people or people at people yep and occasionally getting into a vehicle and running them over those are your primary attacks <laughs> sounds like you got a design dot going there jason <laughs> i think so i think so uh, ooh. and also the occasional turret <laughs> And red barrels. Don't forget about the red barrels. And red barrels. <laughs> I know. I know what you like in this world. <laughs> Turrets. Throwing. Red throwing barrels. red barrels. <laughs> yep. Throwing people at red barrels. Mm -hmm. Turreting barrels that have been thrown at people who were also thrown. What about like a car that can throw red barrels at people? Oh. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. It's two player game. Fuck. What? Two player game. What are you guys doing? Oh. You're driving, mm -hmm. hitting people. Yeah, of course. And uh, letting uh, damn it. And you're drop and you're dropping red barrels behind you. Yeah. I am in the turret, shooting the red barrels, and also people. Okay. It sounds it sounds like a plan. 
It's Ooh. an amazing, it's an amazing game. That's all it is. It's just that. That's it. <laughs> yeah, you're in various parking lots. Uh huh. <laughs> Never on the road, just parking lots. <laughs> Always parking lots. Here's a Walmart parking lot. Here's a Chili's mm -hmm. parking lot. Here's one of those like multi-level uh, uh, structure. What the fuck is going on over here? It's called offensive driving. There you go. Yep. Uh, boom. Oh, boom. Shit. Look at me. Oh. Look at me. I'm Cliffy B. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Game's genius. There just we go. Throwing, just throwing those ideas out there. God. How many? How many winners have we come up with? Oh, shit. Probably a probably a thousand. <laughs> at least a thousand. If, if only we were like, um, you know, that like there are some YouTubers that get so rich that then they can like afford. There's like a couple of them that have like the the Game Grumps and then um, uh, Dunky have like started up their own like production houses where they just use the money from YouTube to be like, yeah, I'll just fund a, a game that I I think looks cool. And I'm like, damn it. I want to. I want. I want the power over life and death. We need more money. Patreon.com forward slash rage select. Come on, <laughs> make me a YouTube millionaire. I'm a 45 year old white man with a shtick that goes. That's just very repetitive. Why am I not succeeding? <laughs> Although I appreciate uh, you seeing the the real meaning behind your desires here. Mm -hmm. Damn it! Uh, everyone's like, I would like to support these creators and this art and. I would like to be a part of, of this endeavor. And you said, yes, I would like the power of life and death. <laughs> I, I and just... I appreciate that about you, Jeff. <laughs> I want somebody to come tell me what kind of video game they want, and then I just want to do a Julius Caesar thumbs up, thumbs down. Can you like... come give a speech to the development team? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, I have decided to grant you clemency. <laughs> And I'm going to wear a toga, you know, the That's whole time. <laughs> An ill-fitting toga made out of Empire Strikes Back bed sheets and, you know, a, a crown made out of, like... The Game Boy parts or something. Uh, who's that guy? <laughs> oh, that's uh, that's Jeff from Rage Select. He's one of our big investors. Yeah, yeah. No, he's uh, he's cool. I mean, he's fucking psycho, but he's <laughs> he, he's cool. He's cool. Just just uh, just uh, ask him about. Uh, Go ahead and ask him. Go ahead and ask him about Kingdom Hearts. Just go ahead and do it. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, he loves it. He loves it. He's, he's great. Okay. You will rip off his toga, and you will see his hairy man form. Oh no! Bristle with rage. I want. Uh, here's a. Here, Jason. Look, exploding yeah! barrel. Exploding there we barrel. Go. <laughs> Fuck yes. Wait, okay. Do I have to that's throw... two. Oh, that's two. We just. Fuck yeah. Okay, we just need a turret. Uh oh. Uh, car. Uh oh. Well, I, I think we both know what needs to happen here. Actually, I've seen this place in trailers. Wait, he just wogged at me. Are you a 40K dude? Okay. No. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Where are you at? Hey, buddy, come over here. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. I'm just going to throw this shit right in his face. Hit him. Hit him. So, you know what you could also use the throw button for in this game? Ooh. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up now, you dumb shit? That's right. Ooh, man! Right in the ear. <laughs> you hit me in the Love ear. It. Um, yeah. uh, if you go up to one of these big guys when they're off balancing, you hit the throw button. You can just push on their legs to try to knock them over. Uh, it's pretty man, awesome. I'm I didn't hear a word you said because I saw that loincloth and I was like, oh, don't, uh -oh. no, no, no. <laughs> don't and go in there. I didn't want to look, but I also kind of <laughs> wanted to look. But I couldn't look away. And I was uh. captivated. <laughs> oh, ah. Wait, did he drop his, he dropped his club. Oh, shit. Yeah, there you go. Push him over. Push him over. Push him back. Zap him. Uh, zap him. Uh, zap him in his little leathery butthole. Oh, oh. Yeah, burr, burr. Hey, all right. Yeah, I you're, feel like everybody else is doing a lot more than I am. I did throw an exploding barrel, though, so. Jesus. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> God damn. This is like cavemen taking down a mammoth or something. <laughs> Woo, beautiful. Yeah. I loved it. Good job, team. We're going we're gonna to have a pizza party for that. Pizzas for everyone. No raises. Celebrate your successes. Next quarter, yep. You get you got to do three of those. Yep. Uh, okay. Garfelius looks like like he'd be selling you like some fine quality cigars. 
I would buy I would buy cigars from this guy. He looks like he was the cat of the most interesting man in the world. Like, <laughs> yeah, like if he had if he had a straw hat on, mm-hmm. you'd be like you'd be like, OK, yeah, no, that works for you. I couldn't do it. Oh, he's, shit. he's like he's like Martin. <laughs> if you put a straw hat on, you'd be like, yeah. Yeah, and I, you might think I need a straw hat, and then you put it on. You're like, I don't no, need a straw hat. No, <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, nice. Look at that. That's fucking impressive. Well done. Okay. I mean, I expected Garfieldius to look like more of a freak show. Mm-hmm. It's pretty handsome, dude. <sighs> if I'm being honest, you know, it be. <laughs> it's funny because oh, is that the ox cart? The ox cart. We found it. Hey, there it is. Oof. Did you get? Did you get taken by the? Uh, no, he's just going. He's just doing his own thing. Do you intend to join us? Uh, yeah. So I was reading about how like so. There's like um. Okay, so you can when you get ready to play this game, and I haven't played that much of it. I played up to the point that we're gonna play to, but like, um. Like, when you get, like, a quest, like, because we're still very in the tutorial right now. Like, when you get a quest, it's like, you could just go out into the world and, like, run to the location that you're going to. Or you can hire a cart, and if you hire a cart, you see that I can hit a button to doze off um, to skip fast travel. But you also might get caught in an ambush. Yep. Like this. Like this. So okay. if you if you like get all of your shit together for like a, a, a um, like a long a long adventure, um, then like you might be better equipped than you would be if you were just using like a an ox cart. But then if you use an ox cart, you could get into a situation where the ox cart gets fucked up by like one of these. Like you might run into like a cyclops, and then like your ox cart might get fucking destroyed. And if that happens, yeah. then like you're kind of in the middle of nowhere without um, oh, the resources. I, I, I like that. I yeah. like that. Yeah. I mean, Put right stakes on it right now. It's just like, it's just, uh, you know, it's just like goblins and shit. Right. But it can be like worse. Like you could run into a, you know, a minotaur or a griffin or something. So, uh, you know, honestly, one of my favorite, some of my favorite times in games like this in an RPGs, you know, in a big world are when I am up the creek, mm-hmm. so to speak, where I'm screwed and I'm in the middle of nowhere yep. where I shouldn't be, you know? And it's like, oh, my God, can I make it to society? Where, Like in Skyrim or something like that when you're just like, there's got to be, I know there's a town. It's got to be close. Oh, God, a mm-hmm. giant beetle. Uh, that's just, uh, that's fun. So I, I like that, that there's that, I like that there's danger to traveling. Well, so, but like, that's why, that's why when I was explaining the microtransactions, it's like, if all you did was buy your way into fast traveling everywhere and you never did the adventure of running to the place where you're trying to go, you would just be cheating yourself out of playing the actual video game. Like, it's one of those microtransaction things where it's like, all you're doing is ruining your game. It'd be like paying an extra $5 for unlimited ammo. And you're just like, well, ammo's part of the game. So like... By getting unlimited ammo, like you just you're just paying for cheat codes, and everybody right. likes to turn on the cheat codes from time to time, but no one wants to play the entire game with invincibility and unlimited ammo because it gets fucking boring after right. a while. So, <laughs> right, it's like that's the thing. Once you do like God mode or something, you know, like we would do in uh, uh, Saints Row, for instance, mm-hmm. it's like okay, this is this was fun for about five minutes. Well, I mean, uh, also like there was a certain point where some people. Made the you know made the um, by the great will of our world. made the comments when I was playing when we were playing Skyrim from time to time and I used to just fucking like go build these these builds for Garfieldius where he was just an unstoppable murder machine that was basically invincible and it wasn't as fun as like you know oh shit oh shit oh shit can I get through this type of thing so one of the one of the most fun actually you know, playing Skyrim times I had playing like Skyrim was when we were playing it we were trying to just cheese dick that ice wizard yeah yeah <laughs> we're just like over and over again trying to figure yeah. out the right combination of dumb shit to, yeah. to get this asshole to die and we, and we had no business fighting him but we won anyway and yep. that 
That's the best. Yeah. That's way better than being OP, in my opinion. My insolence, your Majesty. Oh, okay. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear Ah, aha, aha. This is what I was saying. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion. So we are the place. king. <laughs> uh, enough of this farce. Your That's right. Well <laughs> I shan't deny you it. However, I am obliged to make you aware of your situation. Uh-huh. Oh, Vernworth Palace. I don't I don't know what Vernworth is. Is that where Ernest Your lives? Is it Vernworth Palace? <laughs> Man, what did I God, did I watch Ernest Saves Christmas for I did. I watched it for Christmas. <laughs> I had never seen it. I don't remember was, that one. I remember Ernest Goes to Camp, and I remember Ernest Scared Stupid, and Ernest Goes to Jail, but I don't remember the Christmas one. Was it Ernest Saves Christmas? Is that what I'm thinking about? They all run together to me. Uh-huh. It's like, I'm looking. It is Ernest Saves Christmas, 1988. Yeah. Yeah. Ernest P. Whirl. Okay, so... It's an impossible feat for mortal hands. Right. So, yeah, so what the fuck happened? Thus, Disa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds. Oh. To rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. So. Okay. But if that was the case, then, like, were we the king... Well, yeah, well, when when is that in the timeline? Right, because we got we got we got our heart scooped out by the dragon and became the arisen, and then they took us to the capital, and then while we were recovering from the big hole in our fucking chest, the mm -hmm. queen regent robbed us of our memory with a fell curse and sold us off as a slave. So what was the place at the beginning with the first person wine drinking coronation? Yeah. A mere puppet. Okay. With your majesty returned. So are we just going to go, we go kill the queen? Yeah, let's go do this. I shall devise some plans. No, there's no wrong time to rock. <laughs> Visit me a night in a tavern that we might discuss them. Okay. Uh, sure, I guess. I mean, we should just, you know, storm the, the, the gates. Like... If we're, if the rule is that the Arisen gets to be the king... And we're the Arisen with obvious, like, pawns in tow. Like, shouldn't we just go up there? Me. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, look at this. Okay. Get back here. Norman? Sorry? He's getting chased by Norman? Oh, do you, Do we need to go kill the kid? I don't know. Who's, is this? There's a, what's that? this? Did you see an urchin in a calf run past just now? Uh-huh. Can you tell me which way he went? Is that him? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's not an urchin. That's a full-grown man in a cap. Uh, wait, he's right behind me. He's right there, Jason. Can you not see him from where he's standing? Well, it's, yeah. It's like, are, is this is this his drink? Is this his, are you kidding? He's, he's right there. I'm not going to tell. I'm not telling him. I'm not telling him. <laughs> yeah, don't. Yeah. <laughs> dude, you idiot. He's right I mean, there. That's on, that's on you, dude. It would seem I am in your debt. Okay, Oliver mm. Twist. In fact, there's aught I Give me your hat. You if you've the time to spare. <laughs> I want that cool hat there so I can look are. like Jack Nicholson oh, when he's touring the museum in Batman. <laughs> next we meet. Farewell. Okay, bye. I guess. See ya. Um, one other thing that I read about this game. Okay, so yeah, here we're definitely getting some lower frame rates with all these yeah. motherfuckers around. Um, Everybody's got something to say, too. Whoa, like it's whoa. Old, look at this whoa, is it Ultima uh, online ah all the text appearing in front of above everybody's head you would think that that uh you would think that this was like an mmo and that we just finished the starting area and we finally went to the place where all the all the people were um so yeah another thing that i read about this was that uh the um uh there are like quests in this game that are timed like, it's one of those games where, like, if you fuck around for too long, it'll just be like, oops, looks like you failed that quest because you didn't do it. Uh, also, I should okay. point out that this right here, this is a port crystal. So this is like they're what they're one of the microtransactions they're selling is a portable version of this. But a lot of the big places in the world this is basically a fast travel point And they have to use a really expensive consumable to get there. Um, so... 
it's not like there's not ways to fast travel. It's just it's not very like convenient. So, uh, so right. this guy will he's going to welcome here. We conduct all manner of procedures. He he's the one who would let us change our vocation to warrior, which is what we want. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, we don't have the XP yet. No, it's not that. It's that um, they don't they their the weapons the starting weapons for sorcerers and warriors got stolen. And so we have to go get them. We have to get an arch stave or a great sword in order to do it. Um, yeah. Can we carve it out of bones of, say, the people in this room, not you, <laughs> sir? But maybe, 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 I mean, what are pawns for if not to donate their, their bones? Yeah. I mean, they've got an unlimited, there's an unlimited number of them just, like, hanging around, so. Yeah. Uh, let's, just, let's, let's make them weapons. Let's, uh, they can just be a uh, little, uh, suicide bombers. Wait, this is a, uh, oops, this is the inn. We want the, we want the bar. The dude said to go talk to him at the, at the pub where the, where the, uh, the root beer icon is. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? I mean, maybe go in the front door, Pertuxen? Come on! Use your head. <laughs> Uh, are they are they kind of like uh, are the pawns kind of like uh, Mr. Meeseeks? <laughs> <laughs> they're they're like having really basic friends. Like their 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 um their dialogue is like what was the one where that they keep hearing them say where they're just like, has anyone noticed that we're all different classes? And they're like, mm, yes, there must have been a reason for that. I'll have to ask the Arisen sometime. And it's like. Fuck you guys. You never played D&D &D before? Yes, you're all different <laughs> classes. I didn't want eight wizards in a party. Like, come on. Um, so this is, I think that this is kind of smart. Uh, in order to, in order to, like, make a claim to the crown, we basically have to, like, help out all the people, like, do quests in the main capital in order to curry favor with the people so that, like, when, when we come up and we're just like, I'm the real king, they'll be like, yeah, that guy's the real king. He helped me on Thursday get my apples out of a tree or whatever. Uh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Members of the nobility and citizens. So yeah, we basically just have to raise our our overall state, uh, and so yeah, we've got. So the first thing that we have is a series of places where monsters have been found, and one of them is the mine where the um, where the goblins are that stole the great swords and the the shipment that would let us switch to the those new classes. So. Um, Finally, there is a call for someone to locate. But <laughs> I knew this was going to happen, Jason. We're kind of oh, out no. of we're kind of out of time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we we're gonna try this at uh, hey patreon.com forward slash rage select. Uh, if you want to want to see us take a stab at this, um, we're gonna we're gonna buy a sword. We're gonna buy some new swords and some new um, a new shield and head for the mine. Uh, and yeah, if you want to see that. Again, patreon.com forward slash rage select. Uh, kick us some bucks, get some bonus videos in return that nobody else gets to see. Uh, also, it helps rage select stay in business, which is uh, something I'm a big fan of. But we also have a Discord server. We also have um, uh, we have a Discord server. We've got a Power World server. We got bonus videos. We got all the best stuff. I don't know. That's the things. The those things and Rage Select doesn't go out of business. Those are the those are the, the that's what I'm offering. That's what's on the table. So do those things. Yeah, do those things. Um, yeah, Jason, do you have anything you want to tell the folks about? Hey, uh, it's kind of quiet over there right now, but I should see some more activity coming soon on my uh, YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash the strangerous. Mm -hmm. Go check it out, and then uh, yeah, make sure to come back for another. A uh, brand new video tomorrow, uh, or go over to Patreon and you can see us take a run at. Uh, you know, you're never going to believe this, Jason, but we're going to go kill some more goblins. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't it hasn't gotten old yet. Hey, I, I've appreciated it so far. So, yep. Um, that's that's it. Bye, everybody.